Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, um, very well, teacher. And you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Okay, teacher. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for being on time. And well, finally, we meet Claudia Hiron. All right. It's the first time with the camera. So very good. Hello, Ronald. Steve, how are you? Are you already in the class? Yes. Yes, I am, but still in traffic. I'm sorry. All right. All right. No problem. Uh, well, we have very, very few students right now. Any questions regarding the topics we studied yesterday, guys? Or what was the class about yesterday? Tell me. Who can summarize the class? Uh huh. What was the class about? Yes, ya se me olvidó, so I don't remember. Tell me, what was the class about yesterday? We started at uh, the. Tell me. Time, time closes. Close. Time closes. Okay. Angela, give me an example using any time clauses that we studied yesterday. Uh, before, after, uh, while, um, once. Um, okay. The moment. At the moment. The mm -hmm. by that time by this time until for the time yes. being until aha uh -huh, very good um wait a moment espero que no se me cor it seems that there is a uh, like an update of zoom i already tried to install it but it gave me an error I hope that I don't have any inconvenience with the, uh, with the presentation today. Okay, so this is not for you. This is an immediate pre-advanced, this one. Yep. Okay, hello Isaac, nice to see you. Hello Angelica. I know you don't have a camera, but I hope that you are practicing. Hello, good afternoon. Good evening, guys. Hello, um, teacher. Hello, hello. My question is, hmm, I had more, I had more here yesterday. Friend, read, dance. Well, um, you don't have any questions regarding this vocabulary, right, guys? No. Mr. Shorts. Espérenme, guys, que no sé por qué no me abre el curso en donde estábamos ayer. One moment, please. Uh, what was the last part that we were supposed to study, guys? I remember there was like a listening activity, correct? Yes, that's depending, that is depending exercise. Okay, 
Let me see. Listening important events. I think this is the one. Vamos a ver si me funciona. Listen, in the meantime, I can see the, I can locate the presentation. Okay, I just have the audio. Let me share the sound. Exercise four, listening, important events. Part A, listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German, and I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin. And my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Okay, well, you have the answers already. Exercise four. Give me a moment. Part B. Guys, you heard everything right yes you heard the audio right yes yeah okay so guys what was a turning point for uh, this lady sally she learned spanish okay um what happened when she learned spanish angela uh this the question uh, one, the Sally. Yeah, but what happened when she learned Spanish? I mean, that is just a short answer, but I would like you to tell me an overall about that situation. How was that turning point? I know she just learned Spanish, but no solo dice, I learned Spanish. She also spoke about, uh, sub, uh, she also speaks uh, three languages. How many, uh, what languages does she speak? French. French no? and in Spanish, Italian, yes, German, German, German or German, 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 German. All right, German. German. Okay. All right, uh, but she's speaking English. It should be four in four languages, right? All right. Was she very good at Spanish, uh, or what happened? How did she turn to that um, to learn Spanish, Isaac? Can you repeat me, please? Sure. Okay. When she learned Spanish, was she? Uh, how was the situation before she learned Spanish? Uh, 
Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask. Okay, All right, pay attention, guys. Miren, el punto, the point is not only to talk about the answer, okay? Yo sé que la respuesta como que, ah, una, en una expresión lo dijo todo, ok? Entonces, mi idea es que aprendan a escuchar más detalles, ok? Y mi pregunta es, ok, what, what was the turning point? I mean, she learned Spanish, she started to feel, uh, to feel good at it, all right? She never thought she uh, was, I mean, she, she was like kind of afraid because she didn't like Spanish. She thought it was difficult, right? So, at the beginning... Okay. She was not secure about it, but after that, she learned, she liked English and also she learned more languages, all right? She felt more um, more confident about learning, learning languages. Eso es mi punto, guys. De no solo nos enfoquemos en la respuesta, sino que me digan un poquito más about the answer. Okay, hello, Susan. How are you? No la vi, no la había visto. Hi, teacher. Uh, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well as well. I didn't That's see it. you yesterday. No, I couldn't because I was actually still working late uh, last night. So that, that's why I couldn't join the class, but I'm here now. So excellent. Welcome. All right. I'm glad to, to have you here, guys. Thank you very much for uh, oh, for attending here. All right. And well, finally, we know Claudia Giron. Okay. And hello, Marlon. Is what happened to you to your camera, Marlon? I need to recall your your face, guys. So I feel more familiar when I see your face, not only blank screen. Okay. Um, si ¿sí me entienden, guys, de lo que estamos hablando, es una listening activity, pero no solo voy a decir, ah, la respuesta de la uno es the second option, right? That the thing is that we need to, to tell a little bit more, retell a story. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué tan eh, capaz soy de decir un poquito más sobre esa respuesta? Oh, Sally was, was afraid to, to study Spanish, but at the, uh, when she started learning Spanish, she, she felt more, more confident, she was good at, at Spanish, and algo así, ¿verdad? Un poquito, dar un poquito más de información. ¿Estamos? Yes. Guys, you are almost advanced, okay? Así que yes. eh, una respuesta muy corta para mí no es válida. Eso es para las personas que están en básico. Así que ustedes necesito un poquito más de fluidez, guys. Ok, más vocabulario. All right. Um, Alberto, what happened to your camera? Hey, good, good evening. How are you? I'm sorry. Uh, and I mean, I will turn it on to the cameras. All right. Uh, and hold on a second. I, I will turn it on in a, in a few minutes. Okay. I kind of let's listen. Now. Let's listen again, guys. And I, I need you to take notes. Okay. Take notes and tell me about the turning point. No solo la respuesta. I need a little bit more explanation about why you think that that is the best answer. Okay. Got it. Are you ready? I'll play it again. This is crazy. Siempre que lo muevo como que se queda trabado. Let's see. Teacher, pero yo creo que no solo con el, el mío también ayer me costó yeah, it happens very often. I know. So I normally close it and then I open it one more time. But we not, we need to open it like outside in a in a different um uh, different a different page. Okay. Let's try again. Hoy sí tomen tomen nota, guys. Dígame por qué piensa que esa es la respuesta. Okay. Got it. Page 74. Exercise 4. Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. 
I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, okay. Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Okay, Exercise four. now let's discuss about those uh, those three situations. We already talked about uh, Sally, right? And she said she was afraid as um, Steve told us, okay? And he says that he was very, yeah, he, he, he was afraid or he was scared, right, to, to learn Spanish. But at, after that, she became really good really good at, at Spanish, all right? Now she felt, uh, or she feels more confident, why? What else can you tell me about the first answer? Um, because um, her skills are turning uh, good and pretty mm -hmm. good. And also at the end of the, the recording said that um, he, she is starting learning Korean. Exactly. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Another another thing that you can add, right, about it. All right. I there is something else that she mentioned. Is there something else you want to add, guys? She was scared. Well, uh -huh. I think this is happen to. I mean, it might happen to everyone because to in our yes. life, we're, yeah, in our life, we're thinking, oh my, I won't be able to learn. For example, uh. uh Japanese, think about it, three alphabets, I mean, learning three different alphabets, and and you see, oh, that's impossible. It's a huge challenge to manage that language. So it's a inflection. I mean, in a part, you change your totally your mind, and then you are actually speaking a different language. I mean, this is really exciting because when I, 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 as I say yesterday, I was working as an accountant assistant and then I never realized I was working as a developer. I mean, this is a really important and mm -hmm. huge change for my life. And this is, this is really exciting me. Uh, as the guy say that now it's a measured person, I'm thinking the second guy that was speaking about that, he's responsible and measured. I mean, this is a change totally different change you know, in his her life in the first quarter i think that's really that's awesome awesome thank you very much yeah everybody feels like that right but anyways you can learn from what sally says right uh, sometimes we don't believe in ourselves and sometimes we don't know how a bill we can be in in, a, in something that we like right sometimes if we're afraid we we don't have to, to be afraid. I mean, everybody, it's kind of normal, but if we're going to stop because 
I feel afraid, we will never, uh, you know, come over to, uh, about anything, right? If we don't, if we never, uh, like in Spanish, right? Si no nos lanzamos a la, a la piscina o al agua, verdad? Ahí no vamos a poder nadar. So it, it's a, something very important she said. All right. Anything else? Hay algo más que ella dijo. Why do you think she 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 learned Spanish and she was like, oh my God, I'm good at it. Why? Why did uh, did she change her mind? I um I heard that she was like envious when she saw the other kids communicating in, in Spanish and she she wanted to learn because of that. Exactly, right? It's because when you hear someone someone and you say, Oh my god, her her or his English is super good. I would like to speak like him. So why not you, right? I mean these people speak English because they studied before. So why cannot we do it right so that is something important because it is very important to communicate guys so you need to communicate you need to participate here in the class so thank you very much for your participation guys um so she realized that it's not nothing is difficult right you know no si uno piensa que las cosas es difícil si se nos van a dificultar so and we need to be very positive. We need to feel positive about our things that we are trying, that we are studying. So your brain is going to come, it's going to become, you know, uh, open, more open to, to develop whatever you, you want to do. Okay, good. So the answer is correct. She learned Spanish. What about the second option that it says, Henry, uh, what can you tell me about Henry, guys? And they they are twins, and uh -huh. when they were child, and they when they were children, to, they were and yes, they were children, and they used to be everything um, together. But okay. when they turned eighteen, they separate. They separated, right? They separated. They separated, and also at the end, um, everyone gets. Um, independent all right good job thank you it's an overall about everything what else is there are some other uh some other things that he mentioned all right yeah uh, he, why did he separate because the school they, they changed school uh -huh, because and, they changed school okay yeah and he began uh, more confident too okay and, he began feeling more comfortable more, yeah feel more confident com right more confident yeah and, and he uh, learned how to take her his own decisions and not to ask everything to his brother exactly thank you very much lorena thank you as well claudia a very very nice explanation all right so she was the top in her class no right he and brother went to different, uh, College. different colleges, all right? Um, all right, he realized that he was capable enough to do everything by himself, not like having uh, his brother with him all the time, right? So um, thank you guys. Number three, what about, what can you tell me about number three? I feel very, very, very um, familiar with Debbie because I remember when I learned English, I was in seventh grade and I really liked English when I was um, in 1997. I was like 12 or 13 years old. So I became a very good student and I was a, like at the top uh, of, in, in English classes. So all my, co my, my classmates were like very close with me because they wanted help from me. Okay, that's copy. why I became very popular. <laughs> okay, so that is something that changed my mind and definitely that is very good. ¿verdad? Cuando usted ve a alguien que usted dice, wow, yo quiero aprender porque ella puede, o yo quiero estar cerca de esta chica que puede matemática. So things happen, right? Uh, uh, so what happened with Debbie? What can you tell me, guys? about Debbie. I need some other, uh, some other, uh, necesito que los que no me han participado ahora sí participen, ¿ok? Si no les voy a dejar que me hagan un mini ensayo de, esa, de ese audio, ¿ok? 
escrito para que no les dé pena hablarlo. ¿Ok? So, what can you tell me? Ya participó Lorena, Susan, Claudia, Jesús, eh, Alberto, sorry, Alberto. Uh, what else? Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, I have only four participations, guys. I need more participation. ¿Ok? Come on, come on, come on. ¿Quieren aprender inglés? ¿Quieren hablar inglés? Entonces, hablen. This is the time for you to shine. All right? So, what about this number three, guys? What can you tell me about uh, Debbie? Hello. ¿Quién es Jonathan, guys? No me acuerdo que haya estado en otra clase anteriormente. ¿Me ayuda con la cámara, por favor, chicos? Si es su primera vez, me gustaría que se presente, Jonathan. ¿O es alguien que nada que ver a la clase? ¿O why are you here? Ajá. Es que a veces siento como que hay algún espíritu por ahí, ¿verdad? Que se siente raro, ¿eh? ¿No, no sienten eso ustedes? Como que, y no nos contestan. Y yo, Dios mío, ¿qué será, verdad? Hello, don't Jonathan, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding, ¿ok? I believe in God. Yo sé que las cosas, esas cosas alguna vez, algunas personas las han sentido. Pero cuando uno cree en Dios, creo que everything, you feel more yeah. confident about it, right? Yeah. All right, oh, hello, oh. Jonathan. Is this your first time in the class? Mire, aquí tenemos que hablar, aquí no tenemos que escondernos, ¿ok? Porque la idea es hablar. Entonces, para eso estamos aquí. Aquí parte de gramática creo que ya se la pueden toda. Aquí hay que venir a practicar, guys, ¿ok? Hay que hacer más conversation, ¿ok? Eh, introduce yourself, Jonathan. No me acordaba de usted, no, no me acuerdo haberlo visto ni ayer ni antier. Tell us about you. Hello. Do you hear us? Hello. But por lo menos sí sabemos que está ahí, ¿verdad? Aunque no les podemos escuchar. Vamos entonces a preguntarle hoy, hoy, hoy sí le vamos a dar la oportunidad a Isaac. Okay, what can you tell me about the answer, uh, the answer number three? <laughs> can you, um, can you keep it in English, please? English, please. Saben, Some, eh, when I started, desde el lunes que comenzamos la clase, me dijeron ahí, perdón, ¿en qué nivel estamos? Porque creo que es porque estábamos hablando mucho español y tienen razón. We're talking too much Spanish. Yeah, that was me. I was, I was surprised because you were speaking Spanish. I mean, I understand about that, that we're supposed to be in a... And you know why I do it? Since the, at the very beginning, people feel like, okay, I don't understand her sometimes because you're kind of familiar to a different accent and everybody have everybody has a different accent, right? And I wanted to, I, I just saw, I realized that there were some people who were, who were not in the, in the same level, okay? Some of you are very, very advanced and some of you guys, you are not like in advance yet, all right? You're in, in, the, in the way to do it, but if there is something that is not clear, I need to, I want to clarify it because sometimes people don't understand like 100% of English. In your case, of course you do, but in some of my, uh, some other students, probably not. So I want to clarify to leave every single uh, instruction uh, like without, without any, any doubt, okay? That is why I spoke Spanish. And of course, I realized I shouldn't speak Spanish. I mean, they are almost advanced, right? So, yeah. Isaac. Can I say something, teacher? Uh, I mean, this me. is really important. Tell yes, me. I think for the, I mean, my, the classmate, I mean, it's really necessary to speak because this is the, here, it's the right place to speak English. Think about it. When I started working with American, it was really hard. They don't speak Spanish. Think about it. So you have to understand 
you have to be clear speaking English. So nobody gonna help you, gonna translate it for you. So this is the right place you made the mistake. So, so that's the reason we are here. So you have yeah. to speak. That is so why. That's I what Thank you, Albert. And you're completely right. I mean, um, some of you are very, very advanced already. And uh, to be honest, I, I don't know why you're studying here, but I guess you just want to practice, all right? You just want to have a conversation, like to, to keep going, right? To keep uh, things like more fluent, to learn more languages, um, sorry, more uh, vocabulary, since this is very common, all right? It's very common that we learn something new, especially vocabulary, all right? And we get used to listening and, um, to different accents as well. So this is the time where that you have to practice. I mean, if you want to learn or speak English, this is the time you have to speak. All right. Eh, por eso me extraña, verdad, de que yo les pregunto algo, pero pocos me, me están hablando. All right. Very few of you guys. Um, so, by the so, way, you may, so feel free to correct me, please. <laughs> so I sure. don't take any kind of critics. I mean, it's for when me, you that's say why you're but, going. You you going? You just need to use the the verb to be, right? I am going. You are going. That is something that I just heard. All right. Okay, <laughs> the verb to be. No, so no. I'm, I thank going you so to. Much. You going to, right? You need to use the verb to be. Right. But right. very thank very good English. Your fluency is super super great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Albert. Anything else, guys? You want to add? Algo más? Can we? What you you want to add? Something else. All right, so I'm gonna ask Monica. Monica, tell me about Debbie. What was her turning point? Raise your voice, please. I cannot hear you. Nope, we cannot hear you. Hello, Lisa. What can you tell me about Debbie? You are muted. And that is that no, it's not a positive thing. Okay, cuando nosotros decimos no, bloqueamos nuestro cerebro y mandamos el mensaje de que nosotros no lo podemos hacer. Así que tenemos que tratar con lo poquito que entendimos, okay? Y ayer les dije, por favor, escuchen esos audios, okay? Ustedes tienen la oportunidad de escuchar eso una y otra vez. Okay, si es posible sacar transcriptions, ¿verdad? Of every single uh, dialogue, guys. So, Lisette, what can, what did you say? I I understand your of uh, the baby. Um, you understood. You, you understood. Ahí vamos a ocupar el pasado. Miren, guys, entendí, verdad? Okay. What I understood, or I didn't understand. No entendí mucho. Is that what you said? Okay, let's hear Kevin. Hey, teacher. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Uh, uh, that David uh, understood uh, she difficult uh, studying class because I feel alone and I crazy for your father in class. Are you talking about Debbie or you're talking about yourself? yourself okay but kevin don't worry okay we're here to learn and to make mistakes as 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 albert said uh if we don't say anything si no decimos nada guys pues no hay ninguna cosa de cómo corregirnos tampoco verdad entonces eh, para eso estamos aquí para hablar verdad so don't feel don't feel afraid to make mistakes. Remember, the mistakes are part of the process where we have to learn from them, okay? Uh, Ana Lopez, uh, do you feel better do, uh, today than yesterday? Uh, yes, um, a little bit. Okay, but you can give me your opinion about Debbie, right? What happened with Debbie? Um, um, I don't connect um, al principio. 
Guys, um, correja, corrijamos a Ana que no me conecté desde el principio. How do you say that? Eso es pasado, connect. Ana. Uh -huh. Sorry? I was. I was? No, yo no me conecté. I didn't connect. I didn't. Mm. I didn't connect. Uh -huh. I don't, entonces yo no me uh -huh. conecto. Es un presente. Estamos hablando en pasado y ahí tenemos que ocupar los auxiliares, guys. Okay? Okay, okay. Eso me ayuda a ver. Cuando ustedes hablan, guys, me ayuda a, a, ver, a decir como que, ok, necesito reforzar el pasado de estos chicos. Necesito mm. reforzar un simple present. Necesito reforzar el was. ¿Por aquí ocupamos el was? Sí me puede decir de otra forma ocupando el was. ¿Cómo lo podría decir? I didn't connect, no me conecté. O I was not. I was not to connect. Sin el tú. No. Uh, uh, I, I wasn't. was not. I wasn't connect. connected. Wasn't no estaba conectado. Connected. I was not connected since since ahí vamos con los con los time clauses. Miren, desde uh, since the class started. Ok, necesitamos poner en práctica esos, eh, uh, esos time clauses que vimos ayer, ok. That is why I always ask, ok, do you have any question? Pero no se conectaron todos al inicio, but we, may, uh, we reviewed a little bit the, um, the time clauses. So by the time Ana connected to the class, we had already uh played the first audio no lo escuchó so she didn't hear it okay okay vamos con entonces um zero bah, se me están escondiendo todavía what happened guys zero come on vaya eh, me falta jonathan okay me falta Lisette, pongan atención a la segunda parte. Ahí sí quiero que ustedes participen, igual Isaac y Ángela, ¿ok? Los que no han participado, ya vamos con la segunda parte. We continue with the second part. Debbie, tell me, tell me, Ciro, what do you think or what can you tell me about Debbie? Sorry, teacher, I, I don't listen in the, the video. Mm -hmm. I I wasn't connected later. You were not connected earlier, or before yeah. uh, before I played the video, you didn't hear the, the audio. I played it twice. Yeah. I played it twice. All right. Eh, y me dice I don't connect it. ¿Cómo me dijo? I, I don't guess. listening. I don't listening. Sería. Justamente lo que acabo de decirle al compañero, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo dijimos que se dice? No escuché. Ni tampoco acaba de escuchar lo que acabo de decir, Ciro. I, yeah. Ok, entonces, I, ¿cómo I, se dice? No escuché. Justamente lo que acabo de corregirle a alguien, usted me lo acaba de volver a decir. I Así que necesito I, que I, se corrija. Ajá. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. Okay, I was listening, okay, es un fast progressive, very good. Yeah. Primero que todo, guys, cuando termine esto y tengamos tiempo, que creo que ahora o mañana terminamos esta, oh, pero mañana es jueves, tomorrow is Thursday. We're gonna, um, we're going to do like a review of all the tenses, okay? Vamos a hacer un review de todos los tiempos, así que espero que el viernes no se pierdan la clase, eh, because I hope to finish today. Uh, part of the lesson one and tomorrow we'll finish the lesson one so we have time to do like a short review about all the grammar tenses like simple Teacher. present simple past present for continuous past continuous etc claudia i'm sorry um, i'm sorry for interrupt interrupt you and um, okay. i think the class is from monday to thursday yeah, yeah, but this week is going to be from Monday to, to Friday. The thing is this: the following, Claudia. Uh, this month, I guess because of the um, uh, contracts that you have with your company uh, or with the factory, your company, um, we need to finish this level or this uh, model on the 28th, all right? This month. So we don't, I, I understand that we don't want to continue in the same model um, in March, 
all right? That is why I mentioned at the very beginning that we will have classes on the 10th and on the 17th. Why? I will show you again, and thank you for clarifying because probably not everybody heard about it. Yes. So this is, this is, this is what happened. So we started on the 6th, 7, 8, 9, 10, five days. Remember that each uh, session is like uh, four days. Se ve en cuatro días cada sección, digamos, ¿verdad? Como se los expliqué al inicio. Pero ahora vamos a, a arrancar del 10 como que fuera la segunda sección, ¿ok? 10 al 13, 13, 14, 15. Ya llevamos ocho días ahí. Ahí tendríamos que llevar ya la sección 3, sección 2 y 3, ¿ok? Y la cuarta sería jueves, viernes, lunes y martes. Luego, la última sección que va a ser la quinta y el final test sería el miércoles 22, jueves 23, el 24 no tendríamos clases y completaríamos los 16 días el 28. Entonces, esta semana nos queda corta, ¿verdad? Por, entiendo que por cosas de facturación, ¿verdad? Es que sí se tiene que terminar este curso en febrero, ¿ok? Por eso es que no vamos a tener, no lo vamos a terminar el 2, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? porque vamos a cubrir estos dos días, el 1 y el 2, que debería ser así como en otras ocasiones, pero hoy lo vamos a cubrir estos dos fines de semana, 16 y 17 de febrero. All right? All right? Yes, guys, we will have classes. Y como les digo, esta es la primera y segunda sección que tengo que terminar eh, básicamente esta semana. Uh -huh. So, we need to hurry, guys. Necesitamos ap apresurarnos un poquito más y necesito de su parte, ¿verdad? Otherwise, nos vamos a atrasar y no vamos a tener tiempo de hacer eh, actividades extras, ¿ok? Para que ustedes practiquen o se pulan, digamos, de que, bueno, ya estamos casi en avanzado, pero al inicio tenemos cosas que nos falta manejar, por ejemplo, el pasado, ¿ok? Ya les escuché a varios que no me manejan el pasado todavía, ¿verdad? Entonces, son cosas que son eh, de otros niveles, pero podemos hacer un repaso, obviamente, porque yo veo que algunos necesitan también tener ese repaso, ¿ok? Todos estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Alberto, como dice, ¿verdad? Y aquí es el momento, guys, si no se, no se preocupen porque se equivoquen, sino que aprendamos de eso, ¿ok? So, finally, entonces, ¿qué me va a decir about Debbie? O si no, los mismos vamos a estar participando, ¿verdad? Y me va a decir, no, hombre, solo Alberto y solo Susan y Claudia están hablando y solo Lorena. ¿Y ustedes por qué no, verdad? ¿Ok? Mira lo que dijo uh, Sammy, uh, Sally. Ok, she, she never thought she was going to be so good, right? She, she started learning another language. So everybody is capable to do it, all right? If I did, if Alberto has a very good English, if Susan has a very, very good English as well, you can also do it, but you need to practice, okay? So, no lo puedes poner otra vez. I played it twice already, guys. I hope you were on time. So, I, I hope that you are on time from now on. Desde ahora en adelante, pues, estemos más, más pendientes de lo que, um, de la clase. Monica, anything you want to say for lead for Debbie? Es que no le escuchamos. Ah, uh, ¿quién me falta preguntarle? Angélica Lazo. Hello. Hello, teacher. Too Hello. much Spanish, oh, and we're, well. we're here to learn. Let's take advantage of this hour. Thank you, Susan. Go ahead. Um, Debbie, she was the top student in her class, and people start greatly differently when the principal of her school told to her classmates about it. All right. So she became popular. That's correct. Okay. Basically, what what happened to me uh, when I was in in seventh grade? Okay. 
Um, let's listen to part two, but this is kind of weird. Let me play it here. No sé si is the same thing. Second part. Ah. That is something sad that happens when I um, stop the audio because it always gets stuck. So we need to start a lover. So take advantage of the audio and take notes, guys. Otherwise, you will forget the details. Page 74, exercise four, listening. Important events, part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German, and I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen again. What do these three people have in common? One, Sally. Right now. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German, and I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin. And my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty shy in school and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. 
Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. So, what is... What is the answer for the second option, guys? She felt proud. She felt proud, all right? Uh, okay, so basically they, they, they have different answers, but they have something in common. And that is something that I would like you to mention. All right, uh, what about number two? Henry became more confident and independent Thank when you. he went to a different college. Exactly, right? Hey. He was too close to his to his his twin, and that is why, right? He was always together and, or, or with his brother, but he became more independent. Okay. Anything else, guys? Uh-huh. Okay, what about Debbie? Basically, guys, lo mismo es prácticamente lo mismo que estábamos diciendo en la primera parte. It's the same thing. So, she became a lot more fine. More outgoing. Okay, and what does outgoing mean, guys? No shy. No shy, right? The opposite, completely opposite of our, like, like to be outstanding or to be more confident. So what do they have in common? Check out the answers, guys, if you don't have the correct answers, so you can take them, right? Here is one of, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the second option, here it is. Okay. What is the turning point in common? ¿Qué tuvieron en común, guys? All of them became more mature. Very good. They became more mature. Or? They they knew more things about their abilities. Okay, they discovered that they were uh, capable to do something different, right, than, than before. Excellent, and what else? Everybody, were talk uh, everybody was talking about something, and that is basically what my answer would be, okay? Uh, there is one word that I would like you to mention. You are correct, but I would like to, to know the exact word. They knew themselves better. Uh-huh. Okay. In one word, what are they? Now, they what change. is the difference? They change. All right. So they before they were shy. They were very, like very dependable with a uh, with a different. Oh, I mean, very dependent with different per uh, with another person. Also, they were not secure about right. They were not sure about themselves. So, what did the uh, what did it change for them? Angela. Um, I is difficult for me. I understand the conversation, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, but Angela, 
I asked you yesterday, you can listen, especially if we have difficulties by listening, you can play the audio several times, one and over and over and over again. And especially mm -hmm. with this audio, it's been like four times or six times that we have been repeated, all right? Um, Kevin, what do you think? What I like is that you gave me some point of view and you're telling me the same thing. Me lo están diciendo en la misma cosa, pero en diferente forma. You see how beautiful English is, right? Kevin? Yeah. What do you have in common? Um, Anna? You, uh -huh. you let me, uh, you let, uh, there's some different problem. Okay, so they are able to, to solve problems by themselves, all right. Anna, what else can you tell me? Like, uh, in conclusion. Anna, thank you for ignoring me. Okay, vamos a ver. Ciro, anything else you want to add? Okay, they are led in different situations. For example, Henry uh, has changed with the, was independent, the, your brother. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, we all change, right? From when we were 15, when we were 15 years old until now, that I don't feel any teenager. I don't think like there is any teenager here. So everything has changed, definitely. Monica, uh, can you say something? I couldn't hear you at the beginning. Canadian audio. Lisette, anything you want to add? What is the thing that they have in common? Todos me han dicho algo muy correcto, ¿verdad? They have changed. Eso es, pero hay otra forma de decirlo, all right? They there are different are ways. Changed, they are changed the form the thing of themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they change the, the way they think, right? Or they, they, mm -hmm. they were thinking before. Uh, Ronald, Steve, did you hear everything? Uh, did you hear uh, all the audios? Mm, kind of, I heard, but it was kind of difficult to me. But yeah. I understand that they were growing, right? Like in their areas. Okay, One grow was, up, for example, grow up, como madurar, grow up. mature, be more mature, okay, change their life, they feel a more um, confident, era la palabra, guys, que quería que me dijera, okay, they feel more confident now, all right, okay. they change, and what do they have in common? Confidence, okay, and that is something that we need to um, always show, guys. Even though we're not 100% sure of something, but if you say it with the confident, if you have confidence in yourself, well, everything is going to be okay. Okay, so feel more confident of what you can do. Uno nunca sabe todo lo que podemos hacer. Hello? It's 59 time. It's already 59 and you see it's only an audio. The, the good thing is that some of you have been practicing, have been listening, have been paying attention. And of course you've been talking, all right? That's what I love, all right? And also uh, you know how to, to say something in different ways. And also um, uh, you learn how to say something in past. I didn't hear, I didn't understand. I, I was not in the class before. Some ways to express yourself, guys. We can say it in different ways, all right? We say the same meaning, but in different words. And we will finish tomorrow uh, this session number one. And I hope that we finish session number two as uh, soon as possible. I need your cooperation because if we're like this, guys, estamos también lentitos ahí que pues, te, siempre tenemos las mismas personas que yo sé que les quieren dar la oportunidad de que participen, ¿ok? Pero si no, pues solo vamos a estar 
participando los mismos y ustedes se nos van a aburrir. La idea es que también ustedes participen porque yo sé que Alberto, Susan, Claudia, Mo, eh, Steve, Lorena, por ejemplo, todos quieren participar, ¿verdad? Pero eh, les, está, les están dando chance a ustedes, ¿verdad? Así que aprovechemos ese tiempo, como dice Susana, mucho español no es bueno, ya ustedes no están en este nivel. Si no se sienten que están en este nivel, pues entonces díganle al coordinador, ¿verdad? Que los puso en este nivel, que no se sienten aquí. No se sienten parte de este nivel. Y pues entonces vayan a repetir los básicos. Si ustedes quieren repetir básico. Pero el problema es que entre más básico vayamos, más, más nos vamos atrasando en nuestra meta. Nos vemos mañana, que ya es muy tarde, muchos los regalos. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take care, guys. Take care.